Hello folks, there have been growing signs of Samsung working on a smart ring called the Galaxy Ring that can measure your health and fitness metrics. Now, one more piece of evidence has been found that points toward an impending launch of the Galaxy Ring. The latest version of Samsung's Galaxy wearable app was recently investigated by some users. It was found that the app contains a new icon that resembles a ring. Such an icon hasn't been seen earlier in the Galaxy wearable app, so it is possible that the South Korean firm is working internally on a smart ring and is testing it through the Galaxy wearable app. While not much is known about the Galaxy ring yet, it is largely rumored that it can be worn on fingers and can track workouts, measure heart rate, track sleep and do other things. It is expected that the Galaxy ring will debut early next year alongside the Galaxy S24 series during the Galaxy Unpack 2024 event. Most of the smart rings available right now are not from big name brands, so if Samsung debuts a smart ring next year, it would have a good chance to disrupt the the market, thanks to its existing ecosystem of mobile products and a huge marketing budget. However, the ring needs to have reliable and accurate health and fitness tracking accuracy for that to happen. However, the Galaxy ring could also cannibalize some of Samsung's Galaxy Watch sales as both the smart ring and the smartwatch may do most of the same things. Moreover, the Galaxy ring could be cheaper than the Galaxy Watch as the former doesn't have the screen, GPS and some other features. While Apple finally unveiled the much-awaited iPhone 15 series with a USB-C port, Samsung also has a device ready for launch. This device is allegedly the Galaxy S23 FE, and before its launch, official renders of the smartphone popped up, showing the device in its full glory. Samsung could launch the Galaxy S23 FE in India at the end of this month or in October. It means the phone could go official in other countries around the same time. The official renders, courtesy of the Tech Outlook, show that the phone will carry a design similar to the Galaxy S23. According to the renders, the Galaxy S23 FE will have a flat display, a punch hole cutout at the center for the selfie camera, and the volume and power keys on the right edge of the phone. On the rear, the Galaxy S23 FE has a triple camera setup, featuring a 50 megapixels primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultrawide, and an 8 megapixel telephoto camera. The phone will flaunt a 6.4 inch AMOLED Full HD Plus 120Hz display. In India, the phone is expected to launch with the Exynos 2200, while the the US market could see the phone powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. After some debate as to whether Samsung's next wireless earbuds will be called Galaxy Buds 2 Plus or Galaxy Buds 3, it turns out that they'll be the first Samsung wireless buds to belong the FE line. Samsung confirmed the Galaxy Buds FE moniker in a leaked user manual. That leaked material gave us a bit of a preview of the overall design of the Buds FE and how they'll differ from the more recent model. But now, the Galaxy Buds FE and the accompanying charging case have shown up in a series of higher definition renders. Once again, these renders confirm a new, or rather reinvented, design philosophy for the upcoming Galaxy Buds FE. Interestingly enough, the upcoming FE model seems to borrow ideas from the original Galaxy Buds and Galaxy Buds Plus released in 2019 and 2020 respectively. Like the 2019 and 2020 models, the upcoming Galaxy Buds FE will have interchangeable rubber wingtips in different sizes for different air shapes, designed to improve grip. Essentially, what you see in these renders a pair of Galaxy Buds FE earbuds wrapped in one such rubber accessory, a wingtip attachment. There are no renders of the finless configuration, at least for now. Nevertheless, the user manual leaked earlier this week confirmed that more traditional wingless rubber attachments in small and medium sizes exist. Hardware specifications remain a bit of a mystery, but given the fine edition branding, we're guessing that Samsung wants to offer these earbuds for a lower price than its Galaxy Buds 2 Pro model, which starts at $229. Although, as of this video, you you can buy a pair of Buds 2 Pro for $179. Exactly what features the Galaxy Buds FE would sacrifice for the supposed price reductions remain to be determined. The original Galaxy Buds and Buds Plus lacked active noise cancellation, but the leaked user manual suggests that the Buds FE will benefit from both ANC and ambient sound. Time will tell, guys. Anyway, we'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.